So an important part of this planning process is determining just how complex we expect our migration to be. Uh, it is important to have really sound expectations on the work involved based on your specific setup and your current configuration. So to get a feel for the size and complexity of your current setup, take a little bit of time to understand the following. Uh, now, for now, we just need to know the details of these topics and bring that info with us to the next step where we'll use it to make some decisions. So consider your size. Uh, this includes the number of users that you have and the overall data currently used by your on-premise instance. Apps, uh, understand how many apps you're using and how critical they are. Do they have cloud versions already? Does Atlassian's cloud platform natively possess features that you're currently using a paid app for? Uh, will you be looking for a replacement or moving on without it? The app assessment that we did in phase one using the migration assistant can really help inform how your app landscape will impact your migrations complexity. Customization, are you actively using custom fields? Uh, do you have a lot of integrations with non-Atlassian products? Uh, maybe you have some custom built apps in your on-premise instance. This is all good information to know. How many Atlassian products are you using or looking to migrate? Uh, if you're using Jira software by itself, that is a less complicated migration than migrating Jira software along with Jira service management and Confluence, for example. Uh, if you're also thinking about migrating Bitbucket, this is going to be an added level of complexity to your migration as well. Uh, if you are currently running multiple on-premise versions of Atlassian products and you're looking to consolidate all of them into a single cloud instance, the outcomes of that standardization should be well worth it. Having all your users in the same instance, the same platform, it really unlocks a lot of potential for how your teams can work effectively. But it will make for a more complicated migration. So it's good to know now if this consolidation is part of your migration plan. And lastly, user management. Uh, this includes assessing your need for Atlassian access, uh, understanding the number of anonymous users you expect, uh, the number of inactive users, and the use of multiple identity providers. So again, for now, we just need to know the details of these topics so we can bring that data with us to the next step. Assessing your complexity is not really about whether or not you can migrate, but rather to ensure that you choose a strategy that works best for your team and set expectations appropriately with your internal stakeholders. All migrations are possible. And if you decide that your migration is more complex than you anticipated, or if you'd simply rather outsource the commitment, we recommend that you connect with one of those trusted solution partners to get the dedicated support needed for your specific migration. 